Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max of Max's Models here in beautiful Hartford, Connecticut, where it really is a beautiful day. And a lot to talk about, but I'll keep it brief since I'm on the road. I had decided to go over to uh, the Time Machine Hobby Shop, which looks like a genuinely proper hobby shop in Manchester. But we got up oh dark 30 this morning, and when I got to the hotel by 3 p.m., I just, the batteries were running down. I just didn't have the juice. Plus, it's still a 41-minute uh, drive over there and a really expensive lift fee and everything or Uber. And I just ran out of gas and decided, sorry, guys, I haven't got it in me today. But that being said, it, uh, according to the website, which I'll link below, it looks like a really cool hobby shop. I got to get over there someday. But while I was uh, sitting here, and it was a bit of a gusty day, we had a little bit of a fight getting it in, but my first officer did a great job uh, getting us down. But uh, once I was here, I started thinking about how here in the colder climates, I know that uh, kit model building is you know, a little bit more popular probably because of the cold weather keeps people inside a lot during a lot more months out of the year. Uh, that may explain why some of the pictures I've gotten from HeritageCon up in Canada have been so incredible, and the Canadians have done so many fantastic builds. And it got me wondering about geography, you know, uh, versus uh, kit model building, the popularity of, this, uh, of the hobby uh, based on geographical regions. And it does seem like the further south you get, uh, the less popular it is. Uh, I, I have nothing to really to back that up on, but uh, and it could be cultural, but you go down to some of the places like Puerto Rico and uh, South America that I've been to, and although there are certainly hobbyists down there that build models, it doesn't seem to be nearly as widespread and popular a hobby as it is up in the northern climes. And, you know, without any real evidence, I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here, but it does seem like it's... Uh, that kit model building uh, is more popular uh, in the north, uh, say North America north, than uh, south of the border. And I don't really know if uh, the climate has much to do with that. But it was just an interesting thing to ponder. By the way, uh, on a, and now to switch gears to a completely different subject, sort of, um, uh, you know, talking about the resources that are available depending on where you live, a glue trooper sent me this picture of this kid who made this out of empty plastic bottles. And I'm thinking if there is anyone that the universe needs to reach down and scoop up and send to an art school, this kid's got some serious dedication. You know, there's a dedicated model builder. Well, that was just what I was pondering while I was sitting here staring out the window on this beautiful day. Guys, uh, you take care of yourselves. I hope everybody's doing well. i uh, happy to report that after I finish this trip, I got some time off. So we're going back to the Saturday night live streams at uh, the usual time. I might see if I can kick them off a little bit earlier since we got a lot of folks in Europe and the UK that have to stay up to midnight to watch it. And I'm trying to accommodate everybody as best I can. But that being said, uh, Saturday night will be the uh, live stream since 4th. Uh, at least for the next month. And that's where we're at with that. Oh, by the way, one, and just one more thing. Um, I had an opportunity to take some pictures of some of the little things that stick out the sides of an airplane. And, uh, you know, pitot tubes and angle of attack vanes and things like that. And I was thinking, you know, these things are probably really too small to detail on most model aircraft. But it got me wondering just how fine detail should be and when is enough enough? Because there are some of these things that without a microscope you could not put on a model plane. And I'm sure the same goes with uh, cars and tanks and trucks. But mainly on aircraft where you get these, when you walk around you see it, it's actually a, a relatively heavy piece of steel. But on a model it would just be a tiny piece of plastic that... 99.99% .99 of the people would never be able to appreciate. And I know some people try to compensate by using wire and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm kind of wondering when to call it enough is enough. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for today. Take care of yourselves. Thanks to all the glue troopers that have been sending in images for both the viewers builds and the Vietnam build. I'm getting them, guys. I've just been on the road, hadn't had a chance to answer a lot of your emails. 
The stuff's looking great. You're doing a great job. Fantastic work. Take care of yourselves. And as always, model on. I love this hotel. It has these window treatments that come down. And of course, in the morning, you let them up and you're sitting there stretching and smiling and everybody's staring in and waving at you. And you realize you probably should have gotten dressed first. <laughs>